everybody. Welcome to Serial Killers. Get I'm it for not a second. sitting. Just those get are, it for a second. Those are contest winners. Are, you're not going to fart on them, are you? No, so but just stand not, up. that's disgusting. They'll never know. No, this is fine. No, this you is fine. look at you. It's fine. You gotta get up. Everything is fine. We Let's just phone record like this. Come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up. Is this my padding? Yep. It's going to be a little uncomfortable. Great. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, you'll deal. You'll deal. Ew. Welcome to Serial Killers. It's cold. I don't have a seat. This is... And you know what I discovered is you've been abusing our children. What? Yep. Oh, when I got cereal today, they spilled a little bit? Mm, also, you left them open with the bags wide open. That's how they get stale and they die. Oh, okay. Just saying. Well, Two okay. of them. Checks, okay. strawberry vanilla. That was and, delicious. And the summer pebbles. They fell, but you left them wide open. Oh, did I? I can't believe it. We're going to have some problems. Hey, it's July 8th. You got your fingers? Let's check your digits. Now I got mine. Oh, <laughs> did you lose two? Oh, from the fireworks. Yeah. Ha ha ha. What? It was good. Well, I, I, all the ones that I got from south of the border, I finally used up. That's great. Mm-hmm. And it's like we're recording this on July, June 18th. All so. right. You know what? You just, you just can't. It, the radio it's is an improv theater, class. It's, it's just theater it's, of the mind. It's an improv class. It's, it's theater an... of the mind, Andrew. What's the one thing that they do? Zip. Zap. Zoop. I don't know. That's what they do in improv classes. So it is July. It's summertime. So How about some pie, Andrew? Sure. You know, a little barbecue, some pie. Yeah. What's your favorite good. kind of pie? Um, I like an apple pie. Just straight up apple? Yeah. You don't like to get it in, you know. Strawberry pie is good too. Or, or sorry, cherry pie. I like cherry pie. They're really Which so is sp- funny because I'm not a big cherry by itself fan. But something about how sweet it is is delicious. They're all very, very sweet, With Andrew. Vanilla ice cream. You know me and the Comstock can. Ugh. I just go right in there. Anyway, a pie that I'm not a huge fan of because it's That person your... spelled received wrong, by the way. That's fine. Who um, spells it like that? That's fine. We're not. It's you? No. Then who spelled that? I don't do that form, Andrew. Oh. Well, somebody should tell them. Anyway, a pie that I'm not a very big fan of because it is a teeth stainer. Okay. What, can you guess? Uh,. What do you uh, think the most staining pie would be? Blueberry. Very good, Andrew. Wow. Yeah. So, and uh, is there any such thing as like a fresh blueberry pie? Yeah. Like, not, no, I don't mean like the goo, like fresh blueberry. No. I don't think you can make a pie with fresh blueberries. That's just weird. Yeah. because You got to have the goo. Pie crust with berries in it. Right? You must have goo. Yeah. Yeah. The jam? No, it's, yeah, sure. Jam. Yes, Andrew. Anyway. Are you good? <clears throat> I'm fine. Look at that. Oh, I guess I have to look here because you just... Blueberry pie. It looks like there's mold on the flakes. Right? It's great value, which means it's from Walmart. Okay. It is limited edition, naturally and artificially flavored blueberry pie cereal. Do you remember where we've had this before, Andrew? Uh, This version? A cereal that looked just like that. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. No, it was blueberry. It was. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So you don't remember? Ah, the Aldi. No, no. Ralston's. No. Each time I do this podcast with you, I just think more and more that you just shouldn't be here. <laughs> I just think. Well, do less thinking, Toots. Yep. Anyway, a while back, if you remember, Malto Meal sent us a bag. That was a Malto Meal. I remember that. And mm-hmm. it was a big bag. Of? They're all big bags. Blueberry clusters or squares. <laughs> I can't. Blueberry blasters. They were blueberry muffin toasters. Muffin toasters. And do you remember they even sent us the dispenser? The dispenser, yeah. That crushed up all the cereal. God, Andrew, I can't anymore. I don't know. Donna, I don't know, Donna. Why you got to do me like that? Don't bring my mom into this. She brought you into this. Yeah. These legit look like they have mold on them. Why? They're little blueberry specks. I know, but like it's so glazed white with like little bl- like blue dots on it that look like mold. You have to be kinder, Andrew. I have to be kind. We don't judge books by their covers. This could be a really delicious I'm cereal. I'm sure it's going to be. I'm just saying the outside looks like mold. Thank okay. you. Going to go back to our Farmland Fresh Dairies fridge, Andrew. Cool. Can you guess the milk that we're going to use today? 2%. Hold on a second. I might as well just, you know, let's play this. I want you to... Guess that milk. I'm going with Farmland Fresh 2%. You're right, Andrew. <gasps> What do, do you have a buzzer that I want? And it's not organic. It's just the regular 2% orga- uh, uh, Farm the Fresh Dairies milk. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, with cow face on there. Oh, the purple matches the purple. It does, right? I did that on purpose. Oh, of course you did because you I, curated it perfectly. I carefully curated this okay. episode. Well, then all the boxes are purple? No. They, okay. Well, we then you didn't. We don't have all oh, purple okay. boxes. Listen, man. 
This is going downhill fast. We need to pump the brakes. What what did I do? I'm just being myself. I'm just being myself. So they look like your <laughs> They they look like uh, not cinnamon toast crunch squares, but they okay, Andrew. Let's just go in. They look like uh, golden graham squares. Mmm, that is good. Mmm, I like it. Not a fan of the artificial flavor, but I am a fan of the natural flavor. They got both in here. Oh, that's uh, delicious. It is really good. Yeah. Now do you take back your mold comment? No, it still looks like there's mold on it. But it, if this is what mold tasted like, it would be delicious. I'm giving you four bowls and a spoon. I Here's like a it. stupid question. What? Blue cheese. Uh-huh. The disgusting parts of the blue cheese where it's like stanky, stanky. That's mold. That's what I thought. Yeah. I don't like blue cheese. I don't like any cheese that's crumbles. I like feta. I hate goat cheese. I hate feta. I hate it all. Mm. Well... Um, I give this four bowls, four bowls. That's good. Now, guess what? What? Before we did this episode, I you went saw to saw what I gave the malt, malt meals, <laughs> blueberry toaster squares. I, I went to serialkillerspc.com, Andrew. Great. And I checked out our ratings. Yeah. From the blueberry muffin toasters. Oh. You gave it four bowls. Hmm. So equal. I'm consistent. I gave it four bowls. Oh. I give this one four bowls and a spoon. I like it a little bit better. Okay. You know? Because I'm sure you remember the exact taste of the malt meal. I do, Andrew. Oh, really? Mm, you mm. remember? Mm-hmm. Lies. You're just a touch more blueberry flavor. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. You're so mean to me. Yeah. You're like a jerk brother. I'm existing right now. That's the best you're getting from me. There's like test tubes on the back. Yeah. It's a puzzle, but we don't have time for puzzles. All right. Let's move on to the next cereal, Andrew. This one came from our friend Matt. Okay. All right. He sent yeah. us a lot of cereals over the past couple of days. Yeah, I saw weeks. two boxes under my desk that I just can't even put in the studio. That's how much stuff he sent us. Yeah, because that would really clutter the <laughs> studio. It would. So speaking of malt meal, Andrew. Okay. How about a malt meal cereal? It's been a minute since we've done malt meal. I think that sounds great, Scott. We should do that. <laughs> <clears throat> I am. Um, <laughs> I'm taking applications for new co-hosts. Yeah. Well, guess who has to be the first one to reject or deny him? Me, baby. Corn square crisps. We haven't seen malt meal in a box for a while. Usually no, because it's always bags. And look, there's the blockheads on the back, right? What would you call them? I guess they're blockhead. Look at the guy with the... Blocky and Blockalina. And, but the dude has a has a goatee, but it's just a square. Yeah, it's blocky. It's just square around his mouth. And that's his wife, Blockalina. Try our bags. Aren't they... They're a good couple together. They've really gone through a lot, so I'm proud of them for making it this far. All right, so these are corn square crisps. This is going to be your checks, which I'm going to like because corn checks apparently is one of your favorite. It is. <laughs> we'll see about that. I check serialkillerspc.com, and you gave it oh, five, five bowls. All right, next we have. <laughs> I'm just choking on cereal. I'm good. I'm glad. <clears throat> You're glad I'm choking? Do you know the Heimlich? I do. I just jam your... Whoa. I'm very reactive. People have pushed me over the years. So this one also has the love it or it's free guarantee. It's gluten-free because it's made from corn, Andrew. Okay. I had four ears of corn this weekend. <clears throat> four. I don't even want to know what your bowel movements look like. Dude, that is disgusting. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> when you eat four ears of corn... Yeah? That's a lot of corn. I love corn. Great. So these look like corn checks. <clears throat> they smell like corn checks. How's the taste, Andrew? Mmm. Mm-hmm. No, it makes me mad. That shucked on Broadway got canceled? Yes. A. <laughs> but B. What? Um. This was exactly what I wanted for breakfast this morning when I came in here. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, I wish we had some like corn checks or something. Something checksy. And then I wanted to put strawberry vanilla, which is still good, but yeah. this is my favorite. And you give it? Five ball. What? This is my taste. It's plain Jane. It's uh, it's not quite as good as actual Chex. I'm giving um, it three bowls and a spoon. That's a lie. It is as good as Chex. All right. You know what I would like, I think, maybe for other Scott to do for us? I would like statistics. Okay. Here's what I want to find out. I want to find out how many cereals... 
like I want to know the, like the furthest apart that we've been, the furthest apart. Oh. Like you one bowl me five, or vice versa. Uh, well, I think the last episode there was one where I spit it out. Remember the chart tart cherries? Yeah. I gave it a bowl, a spoon. You give it a spoon, I give it three bowls and a spoon. Yeah. But I want to see if there's one that's like a, a spoon and then five bowls. Like there's got to be some in asinine thing like that at some point. Ask Scott GPT. I just did. You'll get an answer in three to five business days after this airs. All right, dude. I, I, you're kind of out of it today. So uh, we'll be back. Uh, I don't understand. Why was I out of it? I was making, that was a funny joke. Right after. Why didn't oh, you laugh? I got nothing. I got nothing. We'll about it right after this. Diabetes. And we're back. Do you remember when we used to talk about Wilford Brimley like in every episode? Yeah. What happened? Well, I mean, he's dead, so there's really not many new updates. I know. And I think but... that would get kind of old if every week we were like, all right, now it's time for us to talk about Wilford Brimley. No, we just Do used you to- you remember him? He was cool. All right, moving on. You Third even, serial. You don't even know what movie he was in. Uh, he was in uh, Chips. No. He was in- No. MASH. Cocoon. Cocoon. Those were TV shows. The TVs. Well, MASH was a movie- Chips is also a, a, a three horrible movies. Mm. So, but. thank you. I wasn't far off. You're just trying to come at me today. And then when I say th- you're out of it, not me. I'm in. I'm in the zone, BB. I think next week I'm going to try to have Danielle or Spencer come in because that that's always a good time. So this isn't a good time? Uh, I don't know. You're not in it today. Your brain's not here. Yeah, you're foggy today. Even when I came in to get the cereal today, I was like picking up a box of cereal and you were just kind of like, what? And it's like, usually you'd be like, oh, you want to eat one of the kids? Yeah, it just wasn't there. On the next Serial Killers. There'll be another co-host here with me. Not sure who, but it's not going to be Andy. That's next on Serial Killers. Now, going to go back to the uh, cereal sack. And uh, if you remember the fruit, (laughs) the fruitful... A loops from Cascadian Farm that we did two weeks ago. Uh, I told you that there were there were mini fruitfuls. See that? Mm. Secret Squirrel Joel pointed that out to me at Shoprite. I did not like how that tasted. You didn't, but these m- might be different. I don't think that these are just the holes that they punched out of the loops. Mm. I think that these might be slightly different. I don't. Cascadian but... Farm made by uh, General Kellogg <laughs> Post. Post. No. Kellogg. No. General Mills. Yeah. I was right the first time. Should have gone with my gut. Wow. All right, so these pretty much are going to be exactly like the Fruitful Loops because- Which I hated, by the way. They're the same colors. It's- Ugh. They're, they're, do you it remember- It even sounds like cat food coming out of like a dispenser. Do you remember about a year or two ago, they had those mini cereals? There was yeah. Trix Minis, and yes. I said they were just all ice cream toppings. So I think this is pretty much going to be the same thing because it is they're just like rabbit pellets. That's going to find its way to some discount yogurt shop that's still open in a strip mall. And they're going to be like, here, take these fresh fruity fruitfuls. All right, we're going to use some Farmland Fresh Dairy's 2% milk, Andrew. Thanks. If you would take your cup, please. Thank you. So basically, these just look like it they're... Like, that's my spoon. Once again. So let's just go ahead and put that one back in there. Let's swap cups, okay? This smells there like go. not good things. Right. It smells yeah. exactly like the other one. I don't even know why we're doing this, because it's really going to be the same cereal. They're just tiny little pellets. Yeah. mm Again, it has that Fruity Pebbles aura. Not to me. That's what I taste. This is not good. Um... I'm going to give it three bowls. It's okay. I give it's this just, it's not two sweet. bowls. It's not artificially flavored. It tastes like... I. I feel bad saying it. Can I say it? I don't know. It tastes like an edible. I wouldn't know. Yeah, okay? that's what it tastes like. That's cool. Well, it is edible because it's food. So let's move on from Great. that. It's not. And, I'm not a fan. It's not good. I'm not a fan of this. Okay. Well, you gave it two balls. Yeah. You're going to stick with that? I am. I gave it three because it's not horrible. It's a little bit of a... It ain't a, for me. Okay. It's a little healthier, um, fruity, Charlie. sweet cereal. You know, so... Well, what? Oh, yeah. no, no, that's supposed to be posted. Oh, Celia's got to retitle it. Oh, so anyway, um, th- this is behind the scenes stuff going on right now on the Serial Killers podcast. The big show, it's a big mess, 
right? It's actually not a big mess. It's just some people don't pay attention to things. Oh. Anyway, thank you for listening to <sighs> Serial Killers. This was all over the place. It's a good thing we're on vacation. Oh, we're back. <laughs> I've been good this episode. I don't know. I came into some energy that was just like... <sighs> all right, I have a feeling some of our good listeners will figure this out for us. Uh, follow us Ooh, on socials at Serial Killers out? PC. What needs to be figured out? Check out our friends at Farmland Fresh Dairies on what Instagram. Happened? And uh, we will see you next Monday with an all-new Serial Killers when we'll be, you know, regrouped and back together. What What happened? You need a vacation. Go, j- go to Japan, have a blast, and uh, we'll see you soon. Until then, say crunch, Andrew. Crunch. Crunch? Yeah. Woo! He's angry today. No, I'm not. He's angry today. Go back to, like, episode 27, and let's have that energy back. I've been... I wore a jean jacket. I looked in the camera and went, hey. And then since then, it's been, this is this is not Cohen Squares. I hate this. You don't have energy. New co-host. <laughs>